Hello guys, in this video I want to demonstrate to you a relatively new feature of Cursor which is called Voice Input, which was released in Cursor 2.0, so now you can talk the prompt instead of typing it. And previously people were using some external third-party tools for that, and one of the most popular ones is Whisper Flow, so in this video I will test both in action. Which is more accurate, which is more convenient, and is it worth paying for Whisper Flow or paying for Cursor? So how accurate and how convenient it is. And just as I'm shooting this video, Cursor has a new update, so I will install it now and get back to the video. On the left, you can see the actual prompt that I want to put in, and I will try talking in pretty natural language with ums and as and thinking about it, and let's see how Cursor handles that. So in Cursor, you just click Voice Input and start talking. This is Laravel 12 project with filament and I'm thinking to restrict the access to login capability only for users with is admin equals one in the database. So analyze user PHP model and add the logic in there. So this is the result by cursor. So what do we see here? User PHP model like this, we see is admin equals one, which probably LLM would still understand. So yeah, the result is okay. But now let's try Whisperflow. To use Whisperflow, I just need to click the function button on my Mac and start talking which I already did. And this is the main difference. So Whisperflow works outside of Cursor. So you can use it in Cursor, in Cloud Code, in note-taking apps, in Google Docs, and whatever. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Whisperflow in any way. I'm just trying it myself and trying to adopt to my general workflows, not only coding, and I'm just reporting what I see. So let's start Whisperflow for the same prompt. So I will hold function key and start talking. This is Laravel 12 project with filament on top. I want to restrict the access for users to only users with is admin equals one in the database. So check the user PHP model and make the according changes. And this is the result. Similar results with a few changes, like one is a number here for Whisperflow and user model is a bit better. And actually, I will try one more thing. And from user experience, Whisperflow is better because I just can hold function key again and start typing or actually start talking. And cursor is just one prompt, so you need to say all the prompt at once. But now I will hold function key and try this. Sorry, I meant user PHP model file. What Whisperflow does and what Cursor doesn't is user PHP formatting. The downside is that I need to put space here manually for some reason so it doesn't start with a space, the new sentence. But anyway, I've been playing with Whisperflow behind the scenes and it seems to be more accurate with sentence structure, things like numbers here, recognizing the files and the folders. So kind of small details here and there, but it feels more accurate. And yes, you can use it in cloud code. This is what I will try. So function, this is Laravel 12 project with filament and check user PHP file for accessing the users only for users with is admin one in the database. It wasn't exactly what I meant, so it's not about accessing the user, it was about accessing the panel, but as you can see, it recognizes user PHP. It even put a string with admin one, which I mumbled and I didn't pronounce correctly. And this is, by the way, fun thing about the way we speak in general. So voice to text is inaccurate because we speak sometimes not the same thing we are thinking. So this is kind of a user error in a way. But anyway, if you want to try Whisperflow, I think it's more accurate. But let me know, do you even use voice typing of prompts or any voice typing and how accurate it is for you? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.